second place versus third place, right here on YouTube. Have fun at watching. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's UCS and he's proud to present to show you some DCA basketball today. The today's matchup is between two giants, second versus third. Boston Tiptons versus FBC Gilroy. And by the way, the Boston Tiptons could get on the first place if they win this game. Because if they win this game, they will have a better difference in points than La Jolla Sirens. And yeah. As you may know, this, uh, La Jolla Sirens are currently on the first place in our stats. But now we are officially on the way. <coughs> Lusa Wovitz has won the tip off against Kirby Morris. And they're now in possession. Pucci Magruder hands it to Mia Falconi. Pucci Magruder is on the inside zone against Esvan Ramirez. Nice pass back to Mia Falcone. Mia Falcone for free. No. But Reginald Johnson is there to grab the miss. And he gets it to go. 2 nothing lead for, for Gilroy. And what an effort. From Gilroy. But on the other side, Zach Martin. With, with a close range shot. And uh, he missed. And now they can increase the leads. Provided... If they score, but that's not the case. And now Zach Martin with his switch right now, and he scores. Two-two, fast transition play from the Boston Tiptons, and the score is now even. And now we've had Wally Dingle. Wally Dingle for free. Yes, five to two. What a start from both teams right now. We have only played approximately 1 minute and 20 seconds. And they've scored 7 points already, both teams. And now Marion Mosby for free. No, shut it off. But now Kirby Morris is there who grabs his miss. And he gets it to go with a lay into the bucket, 5 to 4. No, we've had Wally Dingle on the other side of the pitch. Dingle to Pucci Ruder on the wing. Pucci Ruder for free. Yes! 8 to 4. And I can't say it often enough. What's the start from both teams? Yeah? We've approximately played 2 minutes right now, and both teams have scored 12 points at least. And now Zach Martin to Max. Max with another three point attempt and she scores, Eva. 8 to 7. Now Mia Falconi against Zach Martin. Zach Martin didn't attack her. What does she do? She hands it over to Reginald Johnson. Wally Dingle with a deep two pointer. Yes. 10 to 7. And now it seems that every shot. Gets into the bucket. Well, it can be changed every time. And now we've had Zach, but now we've had Zach Martin hands it over to Max. Zach Martin with a three point attempt. And shut it off right now. And now Pucci Magruder, there. Gilroy is on the break. Pucci Magruder to Mia Falconi. Red Channel Johnson uh, scrapped his own miss. And um, he got fouled from Marion Mosby. There was a touch on his upper arm. And that causes two free throws from a free throw line. For Gilroy. And the first one falls in. 11 to 7.
Let's see whether he's able to make two out of two from a free four line. And that's the case. Both free throws were good from Reginald Johnson. 12 to 7 right now, and, the, and Gilroy is up by 5. And now we've had Max to Zach Martin. Martin hands it over back to Max. Max to Esteban Ramirez. Straight back to Max. Three seconds left for the play. She has to take the shot from the inside. Too incapable to lay the ball into the bucket, and now that's it's a switch for the boss for the team of Gilroy, and they got rejected. Transition play for the as for the Boston Tiptons, and as Ramirez gets it to go with a dunking, 12 to nine. And now Pucci make Ruda for free, no. And now we've had Red Channel, Johnson has grabbed the miss, rebuilt by, from Gil. Now Mirafa goes on the inside zone. There's the ball back to Red Channel, Johnson, Mia Falcone. Gets Zach Martin. Sides. Tricks the ball to his teammate, Red Channel, Johnson. And he's missed. He missed his shot from deep, but now Zach Martin on the other side of the pitch with a three-point attempt. And that's not the equalizer right now. Now Ozzy Keppard to Mia Falcon. Mia Falcon is now in the inside zone, decides press the ball to Virgin, um, Cornelius Jonesworth and he gets it to go. 15 to 9 right now, one minute left in the first quarter. Timeout for the Boston Tiptons. We've had some substitutions. Bailey Pickett, Bob, Arvin Hockhauser checked in for Boston Tiptons. Kirby Cheddar, Don Donaldson, and Garrett Delfino subbed in for Gilroy. Navin Hockhauser, there's the honor. Drop ball to throw in from the sideline. He's, and he gets the ball back. And now Bailey Pickett is in the inside zone. Finds Tailworm and he scores. 15 to 11. Now Ozzy Kepard. What does he do? Patrick didn't attack him. Now Don Donaldson with a deep two pointer and he scores 17 to 11. Thirty seconds left in the first half. The Gilroy is up by six. Bailey Pickett finds Tailworm. Tailworm for free. Yes. <coughs> 17 to 14 right now. What an intense game. At yeah. And the last shirt didn't went into the bucket and um, yeah. Like I said a few moments ago, what an intense, intense game at the first six minutes. Se the score is 17 to 14 right now. And um, uh, both teams has made a really good quarter. Let's see whether they can keep this up. In the next three remaining quarters. And now Boston Tipton's up with a throw in. Bailey Pickett is now in possession. Bailey Pickett with a three point attempt. No good. 
And now it's a turn for the team of Gilroy. Now to combine through the, through the entire pitch. And they've missed their shot. Bailey Pickett. Well, knocks it loose. And now that's the breakaway for the team of Gilroy. Don Donaldson. Oh, nice pass to Kirby Chatter. What a beautiful livered pass to Kirby Cheddar. And uh, nice rejection by the Boston Tiptons also. But um, unfortunately, they have fouled him. So um, Kirby Cheddar has a chance to pick up the points from a free throw line. And he has dropped the first one. Let's see whether he's capable to make one, one out of two at least. And that's the case. 18 to 14 right now. And due to the fact that they have missed one free throw, the Boston Tibbins can shorten up the result up to one or two points with that play. Bailey Pickett is in possession. Finds Cody Martin on a wink. Three seconds left for the play. He has to take the shot from the inside right now. And he missed, but Kirby Morris were able to grab his miss. And um, great rejection, great preventing from a team of Gilroy. And uh, they have lost the ball against one of the Boston Tiptons player. And the Boston Tiptons are now on the break. Bailey Pickett to Marion Mosby. Pickett for free, yes! And now they have increased the lead up to 18 to 17. And now the team of Gilroy are only one point ahead. 18 to 17. Roy Waffles is in possession. Hands it over to Wally Dingle. Nice pass to Lusa Waffles on the wing. Uh, what a great pass to Siegfeld Cody. And uh, to that beautiful pass. They delivered him a chance on a silver plate, but um, he didn't nail the ball into the back. And now Marion Mosby gets sick for Cody, and wow, what a great preventing against him. Very well done from Marion Mosby, and um, yeah. Due to that, they are in the lead. With one point. The Boston Tiptons. 19 to 18 right now. <laughs> yeah, like I said a few moments ago, Marion Mosby has done a very well prevent against Sieg uh, Falcone. He has been around on his own axis, passed him, and then with a lane into the bucket. But now Pucci McRuta for the lead, yes! 21 to 19! And now the, boss, the team of the Warriors reproduced their lead. Up to two points at least. Marion Mosby against Wally Dingle and he's the winner, 21 to 21. Scores even. Wally Dingle to Sieg Falcone. Is it to Cornelius Joseph on the outside? And that shot was well, not that bad, but uh, as you certainly saw, the ball has jumped right back out from the ring. And Tailworm isn't capable to nail the ball into the bucket on the other side of the pitch. Too bad. Because that will cause a chance to reproduce the lead for the team of Gilroy. 
Provided if they score from a deep... Score from the inside, then that's the case. 23 to 21. Two minutes left in the first half. And the Boston Tipton takes time out. And we've had some substitutions. Max and Esteban Ramirez checked in for uh, uh, Boston. And Richard Johnson subbed in for Gilroy. Now Tailworm is up with a throw-in. Kicks it to Bailey Pickett. Bailey Pickett finds Esteban Ramirez. Ball gets straight back to Bailey Pickett. Bailey Pickett for the lead. No. And Cornelius Joinsworth has grabbed her miss. And now Wedding is in possession on the other side of the pitch. What does he do? There's less than 10 seconds for the play. He has to take the shot from the Pucci McGruder. Shot is off. And now the Boston Tiptons are on the break. Bailey Pickett. Finds Esteban Ramirez. Esteban Ramirez from downtown. Now but Tailworm is, is capable to grab his miss. Rebuild by the Boston Tiptons. And he got fouled from Reginald Johnson. And um, that means that they have the chance to brought the game back onto even with two free throws from a free throw line. The first one is coming up right now. And the first one falls in. 23 to 22. But the second one is not in. So it means that the team of Gilroy are still in the lead. But only with one point. Mia Falcone. Finds Cornelius Jonesworth on the inside. Work it straight back to Mia Falcone. Cornelius Jonesworth. Drop deep. Shut this over now. And now that could be the chance to get in the lead. For the Boston Tiptons. What do you think? We are found by Max. Zach Martin for the lead. Yes! 25 to 23. And it's finally the lead for the Boston Tiptons. Thirty seconds left in the first half. Oh, what? What a beautiful lead pass in the inside to, Cornel uh, to Cornelius Jonesworth. But they weren't capable. To use his base uh, right in front of the basket. Due to the great rejection of a play from Positive, and now we've had Max on the off the pitch, and she scores 28 to 23. And now it could be that, that will be the last shot in the first half. Mia Falcone has to take the shot from deep. And she has missed the shot again. And now the Boston Tiptons have made yeah, a comeback. The score is now 28 to 23 and they're up by 5 points due to the fact that the team of FPC Gilroy weren't that um, good in the um, second quarter. They have only scored 6 points. Yeah. That we aren't uh, that we aren't as much as uh, good uh, um, in the first quarter, but now we're directly heading into the second half. 
the third quarter to be exactly. And um, Zach Martin is in possession right now. Zach Martin for free! No! Now Luther Waffles has grabbed a miss. Mia Falcone is on the inside against Marion Mosby. Mia Falcone, she scores. 28 to 25. Mia Falcone with a drive through the entire defense, def defense line. Easy score for her. Now Zach Martin on the outside of the pitch. Kicks it to Max. Max for free. She missed. That could be the chance to shorten up the result up to 28 to 27 at least. Mia Falcone for two. Yeah. And she missed. Now that could be the chance to increase the lead up to five points. With that play, Max is in possession. Max to Esteban Ramirez. Max for free. Yes. 31 to 25. And timeout for the team of Gilroy. Yeah, and um, about the team of Gilroy, yeah, like I said um, a few moments ago, the team of Gilroy, very really good in the uh, second, in the second quarter, yeah, they've only scored uh, six points, but that isn't that much, and um they can do it better, definitely. Yeah. Let's see. How they in shape in a third quarter, the team of Gilroy. Pucci Magruder kicks it to Mia Falcone. What does she do? Hands it over to Reginald Johnson. Reginald Johnson. Finds Wally Dingle on the inside and Wally Dingle with it. Yeah. I wanted to say with a drive through the entire defensive line, but. Um, a shot went. Went off his hand after the shot. The shot lock where. After the 24 seconds on the shot clock, we're over. So, and uh, by the way, we haven't scored either, but now they're on the break. Pucci Magruta against two defenders, and she got fouled from Arvin Hockhauser. It's, that means that he has the chance to pick up the points from a free flow line in order to shorten out the result up to 31 to 30. And the first one is in! 31 to And both teams, uh, both free throws were good from Pucci Magruder, 31 to 30, 11 points for her in this game right now. Now we've had Max on the other side of the pitch against, oh nice, pass behind the back to Bob, and he scores, 34 to 30.
Cornelius Jonesworth. To Don Donaldson. Don Donaldson. Nice. Nice place on the back to Reginald Johnson. Don Donaldson has the ball back. And there's Cornelius Jonesworth at the end. With Vin Bucket. 34 to 32. Max. Max against Cornelius Jonesworth in the inside. She walks back, but finds Bob. And he scores. 36 to 32. 32, Don Donaldson. Ten seconds left for the play. Hans Cornelius Jonesworth on the wing. Ball gets back to Donaldson. Donaldson for free. He missed his shot. Now the Boston Tiptons are on the break. But that was successfully prevented for now. Now Max. Hans was only back to Tailworm. Bob for free. He missed his shot. And now Don Donaldson. Team of Gilmer with a transition right now. Finds Pucci McRuder on the wink. And he's, she scores. 36 to 35. And the Boston Tippins are now up by only one point. We've had some substitutions. Wally Dingle, Mia Falcone, Lusa Waffles. Subbed in for Gilroy and Zach Martin checked in for Boston. Oh, Zach Martin from deep. He missed the shot and that could be the chance for Gilroy to get in the lead again. Mia Falcone. What does she do? Finds Lusa Waffles on the inside. Wally Dingle. Mia Falcone, Don Donaldson. And that's not the lead for the, for the team of Gilroy. One minute left in the third quarter. Max is in possession. Max against Wally Dingle right now. Marion Mouse B for the three point with a three point attempt and he successfully scores 39 to 35. Now Mia Falcone. Mia Falcone finds Wally Dingle on the, on the left side wing. Wally Dingle against Zach Martin hands it over to Gerald Delfino and Gerald Delfino. It's not a win of a duel against Marion Mosby. And now the Boston is on a break with Zach Martin. And Zach Martin has stopped. We have to look for a chance to shoot. Now Mia Falcone. And the tip doesn't count. Because the ball went into the bucket after... The buzzer beater, so the ball didn't count. And that was the end of the third quarter. The Boston Tibetans are in the lead up by four points, 39 to 35. We'll be directly heading into the fourth deciding quarter. And this quarter will decide which, of, which one of the team will win this game. The Tibetans or the team of Gilroy? And like I said at the beginning of the game, the Boston Tiptons will get on the first place if they can keep up the lead until the end of this quarter. But now we've had Mia Falcone to Pucci McGruder. Pucci McGruder against Max. We'll get straight back to Mia Falcone and he missed a shot and now that's a breakaway for the Boston Tiptons. That's the Ramirez to Zach Martin. If you would deliver pass. On the other side of the inside. But um we're incapable to get to get to, uh, 
Lay the ball into the bucket. Too bad. But um, the good news are that the team of Gilroy hasn't scored a few moments ago either. And Zach Martin has used it. Has used it. We've been successfully shot into the bucket. 41 to 35. And now Mia Falconi with a deep two pointer. Uh, with a three point. With a three pointer, sorry. 31 to 38. Now Max. To Mary Mosby. Mary Mosby against Reginald Johnson. He decides to pick the ball back to Max and. She has got Eva from a three point distance line. Like Mia Falconi a few moments ago, Pucci McGruder. From deep. And shut us off right now. Max to Zach Martin. Zach Martin to Marion Mosby. Marion Mosby for free. No good that time either. The ball went out of bounds. The, the lead soon for, for the team of Gilroy and we've had a substitution. Cornelius Jones and Wally Dingle checked in for Gilroy and Tailworm subbed in for the Boston Tiptons. Now Cornelius Jones with and now they can show up the result up to three points, three or four points at least. Cornelius Jonesworth with a three point attempt and he scores. 44 to 41. And yeah, that's still an exciting game, ladies and gentlemen. Boston against Gilroy. Now we've had Tailworm in possession. Hands it over to Max. Max against Cornelius Jonesworth. Three seconds left for the play. She has to take the shot from the inside. It was not that bad. But, uh, yeah. As you can see. The ball has jumped right back out from the ring. And, um. The team of Gilroy has successfully rented at a second chance opportunity. We went into the bucket. But now. Esteban Ramirez He's got a wide open shot from the inside zone 46 to 41 We've had Cornelius Jones with 2 minutes and 25 seconds left in the in the game the original Johnson has grabbed his miss from Wally Dingle And um, he has made a second chance opportunity into the bucket. At least forty six to thirty three. Zach Martin right now. Zack Martin against Wally Dingle. Zack Martin to Tailworm. Tailworm kicks the ball back to Zack Martin. Zack Martin to Esteban Ramirez. Three seconds left for the play. He has to take the shot from deep. Esteban Ramirez. He does it. He didn't score. That could be the chance for Gilroy. In order to shorten up the results. Nice. P nice pass right under the basket. To Lusa Waffles. And um, yeah, easy save for him. Now Zack Martin. Zack Martin. And they missed their shot. Cameras have missed their shot. And that could be the chance to get in the lead for the team of Gilroy. Mia Falconi. 
What does she do? With a drive through the entire defense line, but at the end she has decided to pass the ball to a wide open teammate and we are incapable to use the wide open space. Whoa! Max took Slusa Waffles down to the ground, but at the end her attempt didn't went into the bucket. Too bad. A score would have been deserved after the preventing against Lusa Waffles. And now Lusa Waffles for the lead. Yes! 47 to 46. 37 seconds before the end of the fourth quarter. The Gilroy are in the lead again with one point. Wow, what, an, what a hell of a thrilling game, ladies and gentlemen. Now as the Bummer Mirrors, 37 seconds left. They have to score in order to get some hope to win this game. As the Bummer Mirrors against Pucci Begluda. And he scores! 48 to 47! They're now back in the lead, the Boston Tiptons. Nice prevailing against Pucci Magruder. But Esma Ramirez were too fast for her. And um, yeah, he's definitely used his advantage of height and snailed the bucket, snailed the ball into the bucket. But now we can get back in the lead with that play, the team of Gilroy. 13 seconds left. Mia Falcone, 9 seconds left, 7 seconds left, 6 seconds left, and then it's gone, Alter Susa Waffels! With the lead, maybe! That's not the, that's not the case for now, but Alusa Waffels got fouled from one of the Boston teams, well, that means that they can... Get the lead. If I scored two free throws from the line, and he has dropped the first one. Let's see whether he's capable to make two out of two at least. Uh, one out of two at least. Sorry. And that's not the case! Both free throws were dropped from Lusa Waffles. I can't believe it. And that means that the Bostiples are still in the lead. Up by one point, three seconds left. They, have, they only have to stay in possession in order to win this game. Now two free throws for Zach Martin. The first one falls in, 49 to 47. The second one is also in 50 to 47. And now the team of Gilroy has made a quick play and a quick shot from deep in order and they can rescue them, rescue them into overtime. 
Richard Johnson. To Mia Falconi. Mia Falconi. And that's an airball. That were an airball. So the Boston Tiptons have won the thrilling game against the team of FBC Gilroy with 50 to 47. And that means that the Boston Tiptons are now are now in first are now in first place. And that means for the Boston Tiptons they have to compete in the championship game against the La Jolla Sirens. Yeah, and um, about the team of <coughs> Gilroy, they struggled with their shots um, in the second quarter. So my they were grieving about the second quarter, yeah, because, like I said, they have struggled with their shots. And um, if it weren't happened, they might have won the game, the team of FBC, Gilroy. Yeah, but anyways, let's presenting the play of the game. It's Max with 12 points, 2 yards and 4 assists. And last but not least, I will put the sets about from all our Disney basketball teams right in the video. Here they come, and if you're interested, in it, you have to stop. The, you have to stop the video at this point. Take care and goodbye.